Hi, I'm Suzanne Orton with OnTheGoGo.com. I'm here with Harrison, and Harrison is one of our youth advocates for Planned Parenthood, but he's got a huge resume that just blows my personal socks off. In his very young years, he's done a tremendous amount for advocacy of safe health and youth. So Harrison, talk a little bit about what you've done and who you, you know, kind of how you're engaging today's teenagers. Well, um, it all began when I was a freshman in high school and I began work as a peer education program. Specifically, what we decided to do was take health class and kind of put it into a theater performance. Um, and that was done astoundingly well. And through that work, I met um, Alep Wright from Planned Parenthood. And I began to do peer education in the classroom. So pretty much acting as a health teacher, both in the classroom, but most importantly in the hallways. Um, engaging people one-on-one -on -one or in groups, just talking about sex and sexuality as many ways as I possibly could with everyone. So what's that like? What's that like to uh, to engage your peers in you know, talking about sex? Now, you know, I'm coming from Europe, I'm, you know, we started talking about sex when we were like 10. Um, but you're in America, it's Bend, Oregon. What's that feel like? How, how does that feel to, to, you know, there's a lot of controversy around these issues. It is a very controversial issue, but I find when talking with my peers one-on-one -on -one, that it's a sense of both relief, excitement, curiosity, um, pretty much, you know, just really happy to finally be able to talk about these things in the open and not even necessarily doing education but just discussing sex and sexuality being able to openly ask questions and wonder and just discuss about these issues was I think one of the most rewarding aspects and one that teenagers are ready and definitely willing to have these conversations and be mature enough to wonder about their own sexual health and about the health of their community as a whole. Well and let's talk about that because um, you know there's a huge um, how do I want to say a strong desire for, for teens to kind of feel like they're um, invincible. Mm -hmm. That, you know, I can sleep with somebody and it doesn't matter. And I can do this and it, you know, it's one time, one time. How do you how do you work with them on that? You know, it's like, you know. It only the, takes one time for one problem to come up. I mean, if you look at the statistics, they're a pretty frightening number. One in four teenage girls have an STD. That's probably the same for teenage oh, boys man. at the same wow. time. Anything from HPV to herpes. Um, the media is a very big issue in this particular committee, uh, com com community, um, and really, even if it's just the one time, if you don't do some, if you don't practice safe sex or safer sex 100% of the time, you're, you can run up to issues. And of course, abstinence is 100% effective. So we all know that you know sex is a part of life. How do you be safe with it? We need to find out those details, right? And we mm -hmm. need to be able to engage our younger community so they don't get sick. Um, I'm going to talk more with Harrison a little bit later on on, on the go-go.com. We are in process of figuring out what the right thing to do is. This is an incredible conversation. It's a dynamic thing. Harrison, let's let's continue this conversation. We'll have more interviews with Harrison later. Excellent. Check out on the go-go.com. Link to Planned Parenthood. Woo!